Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about them? What are they thinking or feeling about you? And what are their intentions towards you? As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Aries. Uh, and also, not every Aries reading will resonate, so take what resonates for you. What applies to your situation and leave the rest. All right, let's get right into it, Spirit. For Aries. I'm using the Druid Craft Tarot deck. Spirit, for Aries, please. In regards to love, what do they need to know? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, commented, done all of that. Thank you. I read all of your comments and I really appreciate it. All right, we got the Emperor reversed. Starting off here with the Emperor Reverse. So something here is out of your control or feels out of your control. Um, but there's success around the corner here with the Six of Wands or some sort of recognition. Someone here seeing you or you seeing them. Um, for Aries, please. Anything else? Aries, you've shown up in your own reading, but you're reversed. So something here I feel you're trying to keep confident about but you feel powerless tell me okay so we got seven of cups reverse so there's no longer any confusion here no longer any um doubt uh someone has cleared the fog or sees clearly now a certain situation um also i'm getting from this card if there were options before the option has been selected we got the five of pentacles here. So this is all about someone struggling, feeling left out, um, inse feeling insecure, lack of security, something missing here. There could be a lack of communication as well with the five of pentacles. We have the princess of swords. So someone here wants to communicate, wants to talk about something. And then we have the temperance reverse. Something unable to come together peacefully or in harmony. Sagittarius energy, Aries energy here so far. We have air as well. As well. <laughs> That's weird. Um, very interesting reading so far, Aries. I'm getting the sense that this is going to be one of those slightly complicated readings. Not very black and white. We'll see when I clarify. But I feel like there's something here that you want success in, either you or the person you're dealing with, because the rules can be reversed. Someone here wants success in something. Someone sees clearly what they want. They want to communicate. They want to, they want to um, get control over the situation again and have something come together, but they're not able to. So let's see what this is all about. I'm going to use the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot deck for this. I've been using it for personal readings and I've just fallen in love with it all over again. So for Aries, please help me clarify spirit. For Aries. For Aries, please. Okay. Let's start with this Emperor reverse. Tell me more, Spirit, about this Emperor. Reverse. What's this about? What's this emperor reverse about? For Aries. Okay, we got the hermit reverse here. Someone has really withdrawn because it's almost like they feel very powerless or they don't have the confidence and so they run away. Virgo energy there. King of Pentacles reverse. Someone doesn't feel stable enough. Oh, wait, let me see what's at the bottom of the deck. I forgot. Queen of Swords reverse. Yikes. Something with communication here is off. Uh, this could be somebody also in this, you know, either you or them. Um, very cold. Uh, guarded. Not the best communicator. Tend to twist the truth. Be careful there. 
So here I'm seeing someone that doesn't feel they have the resources, possibly bad with finances or financially struggling. A King of Pentacles reverse is also uh, a very selfish partner. They think about themselves. Tell me more about the Emperor reverse. The Devil reverse. Capricorn energy here. Lots of major arcana. Someone wants to break free of a toxic energy, possibly running away from an unhealthy attachment that makes them feel destabilized, makes them feel like they don't have control over the situation, makes them feel powerless, has probably affected their self-esteem or their finances in some way. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Swords. Uh, this person wants to break free and quickly. This could be you, Aries, but it could also be the person you are thinking about. They they definitely have been thinking about this a lot and been very withdrawn or wanting to kind of like escape. Tell me about the Six of Wands. What's the Six of Wands about? What's the Six of Wands about? Three of Cups. Wanting to come together, some sort of reunion or celebration here. What else about the Six of Wands? Eight of Swords. Someone feels mentally trapped here. Stuck. Tell me more about the Six of Wands. Interesting, Four of Wands reverse. Lack of harmony in the home, unhappy home. Again, with the instability, possibly something to do with the home or a commitment or a marriage. Someone feels stuck in this and all they're thinking about is success with possibly someone else. Yikes, what is going on? Didn't you guys know that was Aquarius? Aquarius had a reading about a third party that was crazy uh, recently. There could be some sort of interference here or third party interference. Let me just see what these are. Hmm. Four of Wands reverse. I did not see this coming. There is, there is just a really, the energy I'm picking up here is one of being trapped in something that's not stable. Tell me more about the Six of Wands. Justice reversed. Yeah, something here is unfair. Libra energy. Tell me about the Seven of Cups reverse. Let's keep going. Maybe a legal situation here. There's, there's deception. Oh my God, then we got the Seven of Cups. What is happening here? Tell me more about the Seven of Cups reverse. Someone's going back and forth, being confused, knowing what they want, and then back to, I have no idea. I know what I want, no I don't. Um, someone here that they're involved with could be confusing them. Yeah, someone someone's having a change of heart Changing their mind about something. Whoa, that, I feel this energy very strongly. Hang on. I feel like I need to focus on this Four of Cups reverse, like I'm being pulled towards it. There you are again, Aries, Emperor energy. An Emperor energy has changed their mind or someone has changed their mind about an Emperor. They've had a change of heart, uh, but it's been very confusing and they want clarity here, possibly because of the communication, there's no clarity. Uh, maybe the lack of communication, you know, keeps this in a, in a fog. Fascinating reading. There's something here where, where this emperor has a lot of options, but they it's almost like they've made the wrong choice in the past and they've changed their mind now. And so they're going back and forth because they don't want to mess up again. This emperor, they, they, they take control over a situation, which tells me 
there's something here that's out of control in a sense or out of balance and this emperor is kind of stepping in to take his power back and bring back order and clarity to whatever situation this is i think it has to do with this feeling trapped energy this energy of someone being trapped and i really think that they're trapped in a commitment or something where they're not happy they want to break free tell me about the five of pentacles tell me about the five of pentacles yeah see we got the six of cups Past life connection, strong connection, memories here. Um, the past. There's been a struggle with the past here. Tell me more about the Five of Pentacles. You could be, um, there could be someone that is from your past Aries that you don't have a lot of communication with. Or there's been um, kind of a cold energy between you two. Tell me about the... Yeah. Five of Cups reverse. I feel like someone here wants to get back what they've lost and it has to do with the past. Someone could be missing you a lot, Aries, or um, has not has not gotten over the past. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Thank you. Two of Wands reverse. I keep getting this card in these readings. Again, with like the, the un someone unable to choose a path or refusing to make a decision that will lead them down either path. You know, there could be a blockage here for this person as well. They don't know where to go or what to do once they get there. And then on the bottom of the deck, I have the three of wands. So again, with like waiting. Tell me about this princess of swords. This is similar to the page of swords. Can you tell me about the princess of swords, please? Eight of Pentacles reverse. Tell me more about this Princess of Swords. What can you tell me more about this Page of Swords? The world reverse. Lack of closure. Unable to close down a cycle. Unable to begin a new cycle here. Someone wants to talk about this. Someone wants to talk about what didn't work out, what they didn't put effort in, or what didn't manifest. Someone wants to talk about what never, what didn't take off, what they haven't received closure about, um, what didn't work out. Um, Eight of Pentacles reversed to me is someone who doesn't want to put in any more effort or work into something. Their focus is off. It's almost like someone gave up on something here. Again, I, I, I feel like when they gave up on something, it was the wrong decision. Someone wants to talk about this. Bottom of the deck, seven of wands, reverse, star reverse. So it's almost like they don't want to give up hope, but they have. Yeah, and something here is un, is coming out with this conversation. This conversation is going to reveal something. You have Pisces Aquarius energy here. Um, someone's putting down their guard or not fighting for something anymore, giving up on something. Um, I don't know if that's you or this other person. Queen of Swords reversed again. Maybe someone's giving up this Queen of Swords reversed energy. Or that's what's keeping... I mean, I have several people here, here, by the way. I have a Queen of Swords. I have an Emperor. Came out twice. I have a King of Pentacles. I have a Page of Swords here. So there could be multiple people involved. So let's see, tell me about temperance, Sagittarius energy. Tell me about temperance, it's reverse. Tell me about temperance reverse for Aries. 
Interesting, the sun. Leo energy. Something didn't come together in harmony and someone's happy about it? What? That's too many. Tell me about temperance reverse. Leo strongly here. Strength and Ace of Swords. So this, what didn't come together is actually going to give someone a new beginning, new happiness, and control over the, the situation. And I feel like they're returning to someone here, or they're unable to leave a situation, but I think this is a return. Because if they were unable to leave a situation, then they can't really have a new beginning. Someone wants to clear the air and cut out what no longer serves them. Start fresh, clean slate, uh, open up, be honest. That's what I feel here. And when that happens, I feel like it's like it's going to be that what they needed in order to have courage and strength again. Wow. Yikes. So, okay. I see here six of swords reverse behind that, the seven of swords reverse. So someone here is going to get caught trying to avoid or escape a situation, trying to get away with something. Uh, someone's going to try to use words to get out of this, and it's because they're trying to avoid a tower moment. This is going to be extremely exhausting, but your intuition is telling you that this was going to happen all along. So what I'm seeing here, you are the person you are dealing with. I feel like someone's going to find out they're leaving a situation or going back to a situation and they're going to deal with a very manipulative person or they're going to try to manipulate their way out of a situation because they don't want to have a tower moment. Um, and there is like almost like they don't want to give up on their dream of returning to the past. Um, so basically what I'm, what I'm trying to say is there's going to be challenges here and I'm going to have to look at this more deeply in the extended. But what I see so far is this new beginning is not going to, it's going to come at a cost. Something's not going to be able to be harmonious about it. And I think it has to do with this Queen of Swords reverse. They're involved in some way. And the Queen of Swords reverse is not an easy person to deal with. They, they tend to use their intelligence and their communication skills to steamroll people, to get things that they want. Um, they're not nice about it. They tend to manipulate situations and they're good at it. They also tend to twist the truth as well. I feel like this Queen of Swords is involved. And so even though someone's gonna be able to communicate here, they're not gonna be able to have their new beginning. Something's not gonna be manifested here. And this could be anything. This new beginning could be new love. It could be moving. It could be anything like that. And I feel like it has to do with you somehow, Aries. If this is not you, if this is your person, then this man, and this new beginning has to do with you or 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 if you're if this is you Aries, your new beginning has to do with this person you're thinking about. I don't think it's a coincidence that you came out twice in this reading. You are very important in this reading. I feel like you are the why this is all happening. Someone here wants to get back what they what they lost in the past. They want to break free in order to do that. And they want to communicate and have a new beginning. And they, they will communicate, but the new beginning is not going to go down the way they think. All right, so I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for checking out this reading. I hope it resonated with some of you. If it did, please leave a comment and let me know. I love to hear from you. And I'll see you in another video. Take care.